Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is a full face using only one dollar makeup. I know that sounds insane, it sounds crazy, but if you want to see how well these products really do work, then just keep on watching. So I picked up pretty much a full face of products. The only thing that I didn't get was a foundation because I tried so hard to find my shade in any foundation, whether it was luminous, light coverage, anything, and literally they were all out of my shades. I picked up literally everything else, so I hope you guys are excited about this video, and let's get started. So the first thing that I picked up, this is the Pore Control Facial Mask, so it looks like this. And pretty much this is hypoallergenic, it's a sheet mask, and it's paraben free. It's supposed to fight against sagging skin, blemishes, large pores, and oily skin. So it's a sheet mask, so you just leave it on your skin for 20 to 30 minutes, remove it, and then apply your moisturizer, and your skin is supposed to feel amazing. But I am not going to test this out right now. I'm actually going to use this on like a night that I need like a mask and I'm relaxing. But I will let you guys know down below in the description bar what I thought about it, if it's worth it, did it work, did I like it? Did I not? So before we even start, I actually want to talk about how it came in the mail, what the packaging was like, did I like it, is it cheap, what I think about it. So I actually really like all of their packaging. Um, this came in like a little baggie. This is like a beauty blender dupe. Came in a little baggie, really sealed, really nice. All of like little tubes like this, like baking powder, like powders like this, concealers. It came with that clear tight packaging around the entire thing, so you just know that it's 100% sanitary. Um, it, it wasn't ripped at all, nothing was ripped. I was actually very impressed with that because usually like when things are a little bit on the cheaper side, they're not as cautious about that stuff. And then as a whole, it came in like a bag like this with Miss A, and then like their website, and then on the back's obviously your shipping label. And... It was just really nice. Like, all of it came in this one package. They didn't miss one thing, and I ordered 25 to 30 things. So I really enjoyed that it all came at once and not, like, separate times because I hate that. And inside of this, it came um, in so much bubble wrap. Oh, my goodness. There was... So there's, like, this foam stuff that it was all packaged in, and then, like, this purple... This purple tissue paper with like a sticker and then it came in this bubble wrap as well. And these are like the big bubbles. So I just felt like um, they really know how to like package things. They really know how to make sure that your products that you're ordering are not broken or get broken in transit. So I don't know, I just really appreciated that because with some brands you know how it goes. So the first thing I picked up, this is the AOA Studio Wonder Blender. So this is like a black sponge. So it looks like this, this is the size. Um, it's pretty similar to a beauty blender. I actually grabbed my black one just to compare sizes. This looks so dirty next to this. That's gross. They literally look almost identical, just the AOA one is a little bit wider and fatter than the beauty blender. But I mean, right now with dry, the Beauty Blender is a little more squishier than the AOA. But I mean, this feels really soft. I don't know what material sponge this is, but it just feels really like silky soft. So I'm going to go wet both of these and then we're going to compare them when they're wet. They look about the same size. Don't those look very similar? I think the AOA one is just a little bit wider than the Beauty Blender, but... Man, they really perfected that size. Oh my goodness. And to be honest, they really feel about the same. Like squishiness, denseness, whatever you want to call it. They feel very, very similar. This one is very squishy and soft. And this one as well. So I'm very excited to test this out. I just wanted to kind of compare the two because I know a bunch of you are probably wondering. So, of course, I'm going to use the AOA one because this is a full face of $1 makeup. I also picked up this um, Perfecting Blur Primer. So that's the packaging right there. Really sleek, squeezy tube. Um, nothing crazy about it. But as you can see, I'm not sure, it does have like gold flecks in it. So this is supposed to be a blurring primer. So 
we'll see about that. Also, this primer comes with 0.67 fluid ounces. I feel like it's like a slippery gel. Oh boy. I'm not sure how well this is going to fill on my pores. But I really like the scent of it. It's like fruity in a way. Yeah, a little bit of fruity, maybe some flowers. It's really nice. It doesn't smell like chemicals at all. You can't really see the glow flux on your skin. They're like very, very, very faint. So I don't think they're going to do much. So I'm just going to take a little bit of LA Colors um, foundation. This one is awesome. It's full coverage, very lightweight. All right. And I'm going to use the new sponge to blend this out. I am obsessed with this. Obsessed. I actually like how it's like a little bit softer and I feel like this end right here is a little bit fatter and wider than the beauty blender. It looks like I just used a beauty blender. I'm very impressed with this sponge. This is like my favorite thing so far. I don't think that primer did much for my skin looking at it up close. I don't think it really filled in a lot of my pores but I mean, eh. this is the AOA Studio Wonder Cover HD Concealer, and this is in the shade Classic Ivory. Um, again, packaging is super duper cute, very sleek, kind of looks like a lipstick container, but I mean, whatever. Not really a big fan of the Dofa applicator. It looks very small, and I feel like it doesn't hold a lot of product, so I'm hoping... <gasps> Uh, <laughs> um, this is actually peach. This is the color of peach. Okay, I'm just going to do one eye. This is peach. You guys, really, it's not coming up on camera. It looks really normal to you, but I swear on my life, this looks legitimately the color of peach. very strange so it blended out really nicely but the color is just not what I was expecting I was expecting like a very light shade you know what I mean not like a peach color so it didn't really highlight at all but it blended out really nicely so I feel like this shade would work for you if you have dark circles it doesn't really feel heavy underneath my eye at all it's got really good coverage I'm not gonna lie it really does it doesn't feel that heavy at all and it blends out pretty nicely, so I might actually go back on their website and order it in, like, my legitimate shade. So the center of my face literally is starting to look a little bit red. So I'm just going to grab one of my concealers, a lightweight concealer, just to kind of counteract it. You know what I mean? That looks so, like, pink. I'm just taking the Maybelline Fit Me, just going over it a little bit. The next thing I picked up was two setting powders. So this is the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. So I got two shades. One is Soft Light and then one is Brightening. So they're a little bit different colors. So the Brightening Powder is like a little bit more of a peach tone. The Soft Light Powder is more of like a just a regular translucent powder. So since I don't really want to add any more peach onto my face because I'm starting to look a little bit orange, you guys can tell, I think I'm just going to go in with this soft light one hoping this will just lighten me up a little bit. powder is very very fine so it just like dusts over your skin and it blends into the skin and just like soaks in there 
very easily. Makes me look very airbrushed right now, but I am going to let it bake for just a little bit and then dust it away. And hopefully, I'm praying that it doesn't take off my concealer underneath my eyes. Before we move on to brows, I do want to test out these AOA Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes. These are 15 pre-moistened wipes in the shade... Rose water. Oh my goodness, I couldn't think of it. So, um, these are pretty much makeup remover wipes, and they're supposed to dissolve makeup, even long wearing formulas, without leaving an oily residue. So, I just want to try one of these out and see what it smells like, just to get this foundation off of my hand. Um, I don't really like the scent. It kind of just smells like chemicals with a little bit of hint of rose. Let's see if it takes off this foundation. So it took off the foundation off my hand, but I will definitely try these out on like my full face after this video and show you guys if these actually really work, if they sting my eyes or anything like that. I picked up this AOA Sculpting Brow Pencil. Cute packaging, really just sleek, you know, to the point, has everything on it. And I forgot what shade I got, and this doesn't even say it. Darn it. Oh, this is right here. Oh, I'm so dumb. This is the shade Dark Brown. So this isn't like a skinny pencil. It's one of those like triangle-shaped pencils. So this does have a spoolie. Works pretty well. have to say about this is it's more of like a waxy consistency so it was kind of hard to get like a very precise line as you can see they look a little bit messy but I mean you can always clean it up with concealer so I mean for a one dollar eyebrow pencil I'm really not saying it's that bad at all it has a lot of color payoff as you can see very intense very dark very opaque this is what they look like I'm actually very impressed one dollar eyebrow pencil and this is how they came out this is better than some 10 12 dollar eyebrow pencils at the drugstore so i'm actually very impressed this is the aoa i hope i'm pronouncing that right if i'm not i'm so sorry but this is the aoa studio go brow fiber gel i got this in dark brown as well because they didn't have clear and i'm actually really scared how dark this is let's just go really light Kind of just set the brows. So I'm not the biggest fan of this. Um, they definitely hold them in place, but they kind of feel stiff. For my bronzer, I picked up this little A2O bronzer. Doesn't that look so small? It's not, trust me. It's a magnetic pan. How nice is that? I actually really like this bronzer so far. Um, it's blending really nicely. I actually really like the color payoff. It's not too red and it's not too like an orange tone. It's very like nude. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like perfect for my skin tones. Next up is blush. So this is the Malibu Glitz Powder Pressed Powder Blusher. Comes in a package like this. And I got the shade Amber Star. It comes with like one of these little sponge things tossing that. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Dip into there. I don't know how pigmented this is, so I'm very nervous. I think that is so cute more of like a pink light pink tone so this is the amuse 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 i don't know cosmetics illuminate pro and this is in the shade medium i wanted to get light but they were all out so it comes with like a little brush underneath i'm not even gonna try this brush oh that's so cute it comes in the mirror underneath so you can literally see yourself applying your highlight
as you can see, it's definitely enhancing my texture a lot. I just feel like there's a lot of glitter in this. It's, I kind of feel like it's a little bit chalky. So this is the Princessa Eyeshadow Single, and let's see, what shade is this? I think it's shade 827. I don't see like a name. And it does come with like a little spatula on the back. I never use these, so tossing that. And then I also picked up this AOA Wonder Baked Eyeshadow. And that looks like that. So I'm going to first dip into the, like the matte chocolate shade and see how well the color payoff. See if these blend really nicely or not. Not the biggest fan of this matte shade. The more you add on and like the more you blend it out, the more it kind of just like disappears. Yeah, I don't think that color really shows up on your eyes a lot. It kind of just like blends away as you keep blending. As you can see, it's not like really pigmented at all and it's kind of like messy. It doesn't blend very well, so I'm not the biggest fan of this. So now let's test out this baked eyeshadow. I think this is so pretty, and this pan is pretty big. Definitely works better with your finger. I wouldn't even try a brush. Um, I mean, it shows up, but it kind of just looks orange. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a really light copper shimmer, like a really, I don't know, like a bronze, I guess. I don't know. I also did pick up a pair of lashes and mascara. I didn't pick up an eyeliner. AOA Studio 100% Natural Hair Luula, Luula Eyelashes. They look like this. They kind of just look like the Ardell Wispies, but they're a little bit more wispier. And the hairs kind of like are separated a little bit more. And then for mascara, I picked up the LA Colors Lash Building Mascara. And this is just probably in black. Doesn't say a shade. So I definitely did get black. And that's what that looks like. Very simple. Just a regular mascara. And then that's what the wand looks like. So it's a little bit fatter. And then goes to a little bit skinnier. Oh, I forgot about this. Ah, this is the AOA Lash Curler. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Wow. I mean, never used a lash curler, but oh my goodness, that worked. And for my glue today, I am using the House of Lashes Eye Glue. Or lash glue. I don't know why I just called it eye glue. Lashes are on. Um, they're very big, voluminous, but I actually really like them. I don't know. I think they're cute. They're like very dramatic and very out there, but they're very easy to apply. They definitely do have more natural ones if that's what you're into, but I mean, these are just like so out there. So I'm just going to apply some mascara over my natural lashes just to make them blend a little bit more and on my lower lash line. So the mascara is alright, um, it does a good job of just like coating your lashes on the top, but the bottom it doesn't really make them like separated, voluminous, like long. I just feel like it didn't really grab the lashes and like extend them, it kind of just like went over them. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it, but it's not the best mascara, but I mean for a dollar, it's pretty good. It's very black, and I mean it did something to my lashes, so I'm not like hating it. I need to push these down so they're not so like crazy. I think the last product that I have is this AOA Studio Wonder Matte Liquid Lipstick. So the shade looks like that. It's like a very nude toned, a little bit of a brown tint to it. Oh, smells like candy. 
Yeah, it does. Okay. So let's see. The Dofa applicator is a little crooked. That is totally crooked. Isn't that totally crooked? That's totally crooked. <laughs> This is the lip color. I actually really like this lip color. It's very pretty. It's like a very, it's like a darker nude. It's kind of oxidized as I've applied it. It was definitely a little bit more orange toned when I applied it, but I definitely love this color. I'm obsessed with it. Oh my goodness. Even though the Dofa applicator was a little crooked, it applied really well and it didn't dry down too fast. It's not really sticky. It's very comfortable, very lightweight. So overall, I am very impressed with this haul. I was not expecting these products to perform like this. And a big thank you to Miss A for sending me these products to test out in this video for you guys. No, my opinion was not changed just because I was sent these. I definitely told you guys my true, honest opinion. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this full face of only using one dollar makeup and subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button to be notified every time I upload and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves!